Hi everyone, this is Ryan from rockthedivine.com. Thank you so much for tuning in to my latest video. Today I wanted to do a short video going over the things I feel can really hinder your abilities and can really prevent you from tapping into your intuition as fully as you can. And this video is for everyone, not just mediums and clairvoyants and healers. This is for everyone. While there's some of us that our destiny in this lifetime is to be a messenger, a reader, and what have you, a healer, everyone is born with intuition and everyone can tap into it. So this video is for everyone. All right, the things I feel that can hold you back. One, expectations. Because of movies, because of other people's opinions, because of stories we've heard, what have you, we have expectations of how something will be. And a lot of times those expectations are incorrect and they can really prevent us from knowing what guidance is when we're receiving it. I'm going to give a quick example here. I knew I was clairvoyant because I could see things in my mind's eye, but I could also see things with my actual eyes. I had a good mentor of mine say, you are very clairaudient. And I was like, no, I don't hear shit. You know, i don't, I mean, I've heard the random spirit voice or noises, just like a lot of people have. Um, but I'm like, I don't hear anyone talking to me or telling me anything. I actually was, but here's the difference. I thought that if you were clairaudient, you would hear a clear voice talking to you out loud or a voice in your ear. And here, most times, clairaudience is... Um, internal. So it sounds like you, it sounds like your voice. And I have a video that explains that, that I did a while back. Um, once I was like, oh, I didn't, I didn't know that's how it was going to be. And I, I started listening for that internal dialogue. I realized I was really clear audience and I had been the whole time and I had been missing the messages. Um, so that's what I want to say. Whatever expectation you have, let that go. Um, be open to how it will actually be because if you're not, you will actually miss the guidance, the visions, you know, like clairvoyance. A lot of people think it's like a movie in their head. And I guess for some people it is, but for most people, it's actually quick flashes in your head that look very much like your imagination. So keep that in mind, remove your expectations and be open to how your gifts will actually come across. The second thing, I wrote these down so I wouldn't forget. So I, first I wrote this as not making room for new knowledge, but I was trying to be nice. And what I'm just going to say is don't be a know-it-all, okay? I'm not, I don't know everything, you don't know everything. And if you know someone that thinks they know everything, get away from them because they don't know shit. Um... If you, you have to understand that while there's a lot of things like brain surgery or, you know, heart surgery or, uh, making a birdhouse, what have you, not that those things are the same, but there's a lot of things that are black and white when it comes to intuitive abilities, um, the spirit world, there's a lot of gray area, a lot of gray area. So when I'm teaching my students, I can teach them how things are most times, sort of general things that we go off of. But really, there's tons of exceptions to the rule, and you have to allow for that. Um, what I notice in the in spirituality is there's a lot of people, they're running with their ego, just like anything else in the world, and um, they think they know it all. I get people on my videos when I'm explaining something, and I say, hey, this is how it generally is. I have people that are like, you're wrong. That's not how it is at all. And I think in that something like here, I'm teaching this and, and I've spent a lot of time and I do this for a living and they're like, nope, it's not like that. It's like this. And I think like, well, yeah, it can be like how you said it is. And it's also like how I said it is. My point of the rambling here is be open to new information. Unlike other things, 
the universe, energy, intuitive abilities, on and on and on. There is so much and we have not even scratched the surface of what there is. So be open to new knowledge. If you think you know it all, then you're not letting new stuff come in and you won't be able to grow, to evolve and your abilities will become very limited because you think you already have it all figured out. I do readings for people and I learn stuff all the time. I had no idea existed. It happened the other day. I won't go into it, but with a client, I was given information I didn't even know was possible. And I'm like, oh, that's what they said. I learned something new. So be open. You don't know it all. I don't know it all. And like I said, run away from someone if they think they know it all. Because there's in this, with these subjects, there's just no way to know it all. Okay. Trust. Trust is the next thing that will really hold you back. Or I should say lack of trust. Trusting yourself. If you don't trust that you're receiving information, if you don't trust that you're receiving accurate information, if you don't trust that you are an intuitive, that you are a medium, and that you are capable of doing this, it will really hinder you. It will really hold you back. Because while the information is trying to come through, if you're not trusting it when it's trying to come through, that stops the information. That stops the free flow of energy. And that lack of trust can actually cause blockages which hinder the guidance, the intuition from coming in and coming across clearly. Trust can be a really difficult one um, because it has a lot to do with how you feel internally and the things in life that are maybe holding you back or you haven't quite gotten past, I can be very confident and I can also be very not confident. I I don't know. I'm just sort of like opposing things. I'm a Pisces, so, you know, it happens. On the times I'm very confident I notice that the information comes across very easily, very quickly, very clearly, and I am just a better reader for someone. When I start doubting myself and questioning, am I really good at this? Am I going to get the right information? Like, am I going to be able to give this person the best guidance? What if it's quiet? What if I hear crickets this reading? boy, that really blocks things. And even though at this point I can get past it, I notice that on those days, I really don't know if my readings are as good because I have interrupted that flow of guidance and energy with my insecurity. So if you're doing this, you need to really start trusting yourself. You're not always going to be completely correct, but you can be correct most times and you need to acknowledge it and go, I am good at this. I trust my spirit team. I trust that I'm being protected and guided and I trust my intuition. Lack of trusting your intuition will block you from receiving your intuition. And the other thing is pressure or perfection is what I call the fourth one. I think we're on the fourth one. Um, If you put too much pressure on yourself to be the perfect spiritual person, whatever that is, or I have to do everything just so, so I'm enlightened and spiritual and I got to be guru and what have you, you're missing the point is one thing because it's, you are spiritual, you are divine, you don't have to try to be. And that pressure does not allow for the free flow of energy that you need to hear guidance and to sense your intuition. You have to remove the pressure off yourself to be perfect, receive perfect information, always be right. You're not always going to be right. You are not always going to be right. If you can be 70 to 85% accurate, that's real accurate. And also it's, it's, If you think you're going to be 100% right, that would make you like a god, and we're not. We're humans that have this ability, and while the information that comes through will always be accurate, the way we perceive it may not be because we're humans, you know, and that tends to get in the way sometimes. 
be as accurate as you can be, but realize that sometimes you will get things wrong. You don't have to be perfect in anything you do. I don't even care if it's meditating. If you put too much pressure on yourself meditating, the meditation session won't work. I can't tell you how many people get a hold of me and they say, I'm doing all this stuff. I do it all the time and I'm doing it right. I'm doing it perfect. And I still feel like hell. I still don't have this and that happening. And I'm like, yeah, because you're doing too much. You're putting too much pressure on yourself and it's blocking you, you know, um, everything in life, be easy with yourself, babes, be easy with yourself. And especially this stuff. The last one is allowing, and this can go for many, many things in life, not just intuitive abilities. At some point we need to allow however things are going to come across to come across. We need to free ourselves from feeling the need to be in control. And you do that by allowing. I allow myself to receive the information. I allow my guidance to come across how it's going to come across. I allow spirit to show me what spirit needs to show me. I allow the divine to give me the guidance that I need at this time. And I also allow if they won't tell me all that I want to know. You're allowing everything to happen as it wants to happen, as it wants to come across. And that can be very difficult. As humans, we like to feel in charge. We like to feel that we're controlling something. Um, We're going to give the best reading. I'm going to get this answer right. And when you're doing that, you're not allowing you're gonna get sick of me saying allowing but you're not allowing your being in charge your being in control you're not in control of divine guidance and intuition a higher power source the universe is you are simply a vessel and your divineness is picking up on that divine guidance you have to allow it to come across as it wants to um Yeah, you have to allow or you will again interrupt the flow. If we could allow more things in our life, our life would feel a lot more magical. But a lot of times we are resisting, we are fighting against something, we are trying to manipulate or control. And a lot of people do this with their abilities. You need to allow and that will allow your abilities to flourish to really open up and you'll be quite surprised how easy your intuition and the guidance comes across. You'll also watch your abilities really grow quite quickly simply because you are allowing them to come across how they want to and you're allowing the information to flow into you and out of you without sort of going, is that right? Is that wrong? What are they going to think about this? Just allow, babes.